Hello everybody watching, this is uh, Money Collector 2022, and today I'm going to be uh, telling you guys how much a 1990 Saks $100 bill is worth. And uh, before I get started, I wanted to say that uh, I made the uh, community uh, tab for the uh, money hunt, and uh, I gave you guys the option what I should do, uh, ones, fives, tens, fifties, hundreds. Uh, so you guys can choose that on the community tab, and I'll probably make that video sometime later this week. But uh, today I'm going to be, I think I might have made a video on this. I uh, found this in a uh, circulation sometime last month around April. Because uh, as of right now, I'm filming this video video the day of. Uh, today's May 2nd. But I uh, found this sometime last month. And I had a 1990 sax. But I found a better one that's in better condition. So I... Uh, Swapped it out with my other one and then put the other one back in circulation. Now I have one that's in a uh, very nice condition. I put it in this protective uh, thing here. Plastic thing. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but uh, yeah, I just want to take a quick look at it again. Because uh, from what I see, a lot of you guys like the uh, $100 bill videos. So I, I figured I'd like the, uh, to uh, put those in there. But after this video, I want to make a video talking about talking about foreign paper money. So... <laughs> Yeah, check that video out too. I'm gonna make a couple videos today, so uh, yeah. All right, so a 1990 sax hundred dollar bill was uh almost 30 years ago, and uh, it looks definitely different because the new hundred dollar bills have the uh, they're like blue and have a lot of anti counterfeiting features, but the 1990 sax I don't know if I could uh, try to figure this out here with the lighting. It has the uh, hologram to the bot. Bottom right, right above, right above my thumb, you're gonna see the uh, no, my bad, the watermark. <laughs> I got myself confused. The new ones have a hologram right there. I meant to say <laughs> they have the watermark of Benjamin Franklin right there above my thumb, as you guys can see. And then they have the uh, anti-counterfeiting strip right there so you guys might find one of these in very nice condition like mine right here this is almost in uh, uncirculated condition as you can see so you might find one of these like man these are older how much are these worth if you find one that's in this kind of condition right here you're looking at something that could be worth twenty dollars over face value which means it's worth 120 dollars total or twenty dollars more than face value because it's in such good condition. Another cool anti-counterfeiting feature that they did first before anything is they did red or blue hairs, fibers in the bill. And this one actually has red, red and blue. So that's always a good way to tell if it's real or not. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, so B2 means uh, New York. Okay, so this serial number is eight one eight one five seven three seven. If that was an, if that was a five instead of a three, that'd be really cool. But uh, still a pretty cool serial number. Not really any type of uh, miscuts. Just a basic nineteen ninety Saks hundred dollar bill. Very cool. Um, a little bit of uh, over ink right there, a little bit. As you can see but uh yeah i was pretty happy to find this so i figured i'd make another video on it and uh yeah make sure you guys look out for uh, a couple other videos i'm making today and uh like i said i'll be making a, a uh, money hunt video later on this week so uh if you guys like this video make sure you guys like and subscribe and uh yeah thanks for watching